Greetings, Diet Nation. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is to go over the results of my Jenny Craig diet week eight. Let's see, let me see, seven times eight, 56 days, is that what it's been? Uh, quite a while, anyhow, but uh, things are going well. We'll get to the results in a bit, but I want to take you through another diet tip. Each week, I wanna give you a diet tip on something that's worked for me or worked for someone that I know, something that I have confidence in. And then secondly, I would like to review another way that I have discovered to lower the cost of Jenny Craig or lower the cost of any diet that you're on, really. And then finally, we're gonna get back to the results. On to this week's tip. I highly recommend you getting into this with a friend. Okay, remember when you were a kid, when you were young, if most of us got sent to the principal's office at least once. I know I did. Not a whole lot, but, you know, a few times. But when you're there by yourself, it's a pretty daunting experience. When you're there with a couple of friends, it's a party, right? So let's make this diet thing a party. Let's go to the principal's office and have a good time. Um, when I started my diet, about a week after I started, I lost, uh, you know, seven pounds or so in the first seven days. And a friend of mine was really impressed. And I talked to him, told him about Jenny Craig, and so he got on. Well, uh, it's been eight weeks now, and he's been on it seven weeks, and he's a couple of pounds behind me. But every day we talk, every morning we share what our weight is. We both weigh in and text each other a, a photo of the scale, and we talk about what's working and how we're feeling and, you know, et cetera, tips, things like that. But it's a great motivator to know that someone is in this battle, in this fight with you. Uh, it keeps you going. Um, you don't want to let them down. They don't want to let you down. We look at our weight loss as a combined number. So if I screw up or cheat, then I'm going to mess up our combined number. And the same goes for him. So we're really a team in this. And whether you have a friend or a significant other, a, a wife, a, a girlfriend, a boyfriend, a husband, one of your kids, the next door neighbors, your best friend, whatever, get them involved. Get one or two of you and really hold each other accountable. Have a good time share tips, etc. It makes the journey a lot easier. If you're going to go on a road trip by yourself, you know, you get tired of listening to music sooner or later, but if you've got a friend there to interact with along the way and to share the joys and the burdens of the journey, you're going to be much better off. Okay, now how to save money dieting, uh, and particularly on Jenny Craig. Now, a couple of my favorite items on Jenny Craig are their salad kits. Here we have the tuna dill salad kit, and here we have the chicken cranberry salad kit. The reason I like these is they're so portable, and they taste so good, and they're small, and they're healthy. Um, but you know, after I'd eaten these a few times, I started looking at them. I go, gee, they only weigh 3.63 ounces. Well, let's go over what's in these things, okay? First off, you get a little bag of crackers. I think there's six or seven crackers in here. Mighty tasty. They're wheat crackers. Then you get your can of tuna salad or chicken salad. It weighs about 3.3 ounces. It's right there. And you get a little spoon. Once you've pulled off the lid, you can dig out the, uh, the salad and put it on the cracker uh, and eat it. And let's look at the nutrition of these items. Okay, so the tuna dill salad kit which is right here, has 200 calories, 12 grams of protein, three grams of fiber, and seven grams of fat, and it weighs 3.63 ounces, okay? And it comes with the crackers. That nutrition includes the crackers as well. Now let's look at the chicken cranberry salad kit. 240 calories, 12 grams of protein, four grams of fiber, nine grams of fat, and it weighs the same 3.63 ounces. However, the most amazing thing about this little item here, this little pack of crackers, this little can of tuna or chicken salad, is that it costs $5.49. Wow, that's a lot of money. Now, yes, it does taste great. It is portable. It's really fun to eat, but $5.49, that's, that's kind of shocking. Okay, there is a recommended replacement for that that I have found and that are that is or are because there's a bunch of them the bumblebee snack on the run kits okay well let's look at the boxes 
they're the exact same size. Exact same size. What comes in one of these boxes? You got your crackers. Looks amazingly identical, doesn't it? You got your little can of stuff. Okay. Boom. Look, look at the tabs are the same. Look at the two little, little marks on the tabs. It's almost as if they were made by the same exact company. Interesting. And of course, let's not forget our little spoon. Okay, so there's nine or 10 different varieties of these. There's tuna salad, fat-free tuna salad, salmon salad, chicken salad, ham salad, seafood salad, barbecue chicken salad, cheesy tuna melt, uh, chipotle tuna salad, and rosemary, garlic, and sea salt. I think that's 10 items. So let's look at a couple of these. Let's look at the fat-free tuna salad, and let's look at the salmon salad. The fat-free tuna salad has 150 calories, 8 grams of protein, 3 grams of fiber, and 3 grams of fat. Now, I know it says fat-free, but that fat comes from the crackers. So this is 150 calories. Jenny Craig is 200 calories. This tastes every bit as good as the Jenny Craig. Every bit as good. And you've got 9 or 10 items to choose from. Here we go with the salmon salad. 200 calories, 8 grams of protein, 1 gram of fiber, and four grams of fat. Again, the fat is from the crackers. Okay, what did the chicken cranberry salad have? How many calories? 240. So 200 versus 240. And here we have 150 versus 200. Lower in both cases. They taste just as good as the Jenny Craig. But here's the amazing part. A dollar and eight cents a piece. four dollars and 41 cents less let's say you eat two or three of these a week that's going to save you what nine to 13 13 and a half dollars a week amazing all right well let's talk a little bit about this week and what i did first off as you know i've got to fight temptation every day i take this diet business one day at a time I drive past a Burger King. Ah! I see my friends eating lunch. Ah! Now, true, I am eating good food on Jenny Craig and some of the replacements that I'm now using, and it's all about portion control. But I'm a decent-sized guy. Okay, I was 246 pounds and 5'11", and I love to eat. I'm around temptation all the time, and it's that willpower uh, that really helps you fight that off, and I've had to fight it off all this last week. All this last week. But really, if you focus on the results and keep your eye on the prize, it gets a lot easier. I also, this week, rode my exercise bike, my Schwinn recumbent exercise bike, another four times uh, for a total of four hours. Let me look at my cheat sheet here. For a total of four hours and 40 minutes, I've moved up um, to resistance level three from level one. Uh, so I'm riding a little bit further now. Um, I rode about 65 miles. I have no idea how many calories I'm burning, but... I think it's quite a bit, uh, riding 65 miles. And it continues to get a little bit easier uh, each time that I ride. And so I'm really liking uh, that exercise bike, and I uh, plan on continuing to do that. I don't know if it's speeding up my weight loss, but it is certainly making me feel good. I'm getting healthy, and I'm starting to notice a little bit of muscle tone uh, coming uh, after, after two weeks of, of doing that. So now for the big reveal, the week eight results. Woo, can you feel the excitement? Can you see the excitement right there in the corner of my eye? I, I knew that you could. All right, let's get on to it. So last week, okay, did you all watch my last week's video? If you haven't, maybe you should go back and watch it. Now, probably too late for that. Anyway, last week I was down 29 pounds. And this week, ta-da, I'm down another three pounds on the nose for a total of 32 pounds lost in eight weeks or an average of four pounds lost a week. I'm happy. I'm happy. You get on Jenny Craig diet or a similar diet, you can be happy too. I love Jenny Craig. I sing its praises. 
Um, it works for me. I don't care what diet you're on. As long as it works for you, it makes you happy and you stick with it. So get yourself a friend who can help you on this diet, some sort of cheerleader, some person that you can go on your journey along with to make it much easier and much more interesting. I also track my results so I can go back and look daily. Some of you don't like to weigh daily, some maybe twice a week, one once a week. I think you wait, need to weigh more than once a week uh, to keep things uh, you know, top of mind and motivating. But I would say at the minimally maybe two times a week. But I, I weigh myself every week, or I'm sorry, every day. And I share that with my partner in crime, my friend, who's also on the diet. Uh, and I find out it's incredibly motivating to see his numbers go up, my numbers go up, our total weight combined go up. It, it's really, uh, it, it really gives me energy uh, to go on every day, not only uh, for my success, but to not let him down. Because again, we track our weight uh, combined as a combined total. How am I going to do week nine? I don't know. I don't know. Like I say, I take this one day at a time. I could fall off the wagon. I could do, I could lose five pounds. I don't know. I could gain back a couple of pounds. I could get sick and have to drink 80 bottles of Gatorade and gain back some weight. I don't know how I'm going to do, but there's one way to find out is to come back and watch my week nine video. Also, please subscribe. I'm giving away a free Echo Dot, Amazon Echo Dot, or a Google Home Mini. Uh, to one of the first 1,000 subscribers. I've got a second video out on that, and I'll put a card up there somewhere during this video that tells you how to win that. Um, but please do subscribe. Uh, I would really love it if you'd follow me uh, on my journey. Uh, it's nice to know that there's a few people out there watching and interested, and please leave comments. You know, if you like what I'm doing, if you don't like what I'm doing, share your diet tips. There's, uh, we've got several people that are starting to leave comments and are, are really uh, interested in my progress, and I'm interested in theirs. I wanna hear about you guys' progress. How am I gonna do in week nine? I don't know, you don't know. Stay tuned, find out. Uh, so until next time, good luck with your diet. This is the least interesting man in the world. Stay awake, my friends.